The following WXE matchup was brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustler Club Detroit, located right off I-75 and Outer Drive. Stop in and spend some time with the beautiful Hustler Honeys. Probably hands down the biggest 55 pounder in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Remember the guy uh, Darren fought in Brazil? Oh yeah, uh, he Adriano. Like he was 185. Yeah. I'd like to get a retake of that uh, weigh-in. But yeah, Jay looks like he probably walks at 185. Oh, 190. Maybe 190. Yeah. Yeah, he's a huge 55. Nice takedown. Yeah, but right into trouble. Yeah, they're looking at that arm and guillotine. Yeah, and it's deep. It's got a oh, nice way to just stay patient and get to where you want to go. And we can definitely see the grappling in the in the Eastern MMA guys. Kyle here, uh, same kind of thing as nice Adam pass. would like to do. Good posture, good control, knees in the hips. Josh, didn't you train with back with Eastern MMA back when you were, uh, when you went to school there? Yeah, I was saying actually, um, I was actually one of the guys that was part of kind of like its genesis when it first began. Um, you know, they had a few tough guys there, but a lot of guys just kind of just getting used to the sport. But I know since I've graduated from Eastern, um, they've become far more organized and put a lot of pieces together. Um, in particular, the judo element. I know a lot of tough judo guys. I know they always had a tough judo program there, yeah. so. Excited to see more of those guys in the WXE cage. Absolutely. My fiance actually, uh, you know, she actually took a, a judo class at Eastern. You know, you, you just to get full time in order to uh, receive financial aid. Uh, she took a judo course and learned a little judo along the way. Actually, that's pretty cool. It looks like uh, Aldi is just, uh, you know, uh, fishing for this guillotine here. You know, and it's not really finding a home right now. Yeah, throwing up uh, maybe an armbar triangle attempt, but kind of loose, not controlling posture really well. Yeah, and, and it doesn't squeeze as well with his knees as I think when he's climbing the ladder there. See how the knees are really not. Pretty, pretty relentless pressure here yeah. by Kyle. I'm sure nice that pass. for the audience might not be so exciting, but this is pretty uh, technically solid uh, fight. Water. 
It's got that chin control. It's difficult to see from this angle. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, this, 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 it's a lot of uh, inching forward and inching backwards. Uh, but it is hard to stand someone up when there is advancement happening. Round two. Put Terry in your chest, Harley. Red man. Pilarski Red man, uh, didn't do much damage, but he definitely controlled the fight, passed the guard multiple times, uh, so that was definitely his round. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, nice short right hook off of the yeah. glove touch. Yeah, I, th I wonder if he's uh, a right, like a right-handed fighter who just wrestles that stance. Because I haven't really seen him use his left which should be his power hand. So a lot of those guys that wrestle righty, they just stay in that stance just so that they don't yeah. uh, you know, have to telegraph their takedowns. Jumped around that guard, almost kneed him in the face. I, I heard a fan out there yell, punch him in the face. That's good advice. It's great advice, best advice I've heard all night. Should be a cornerman. <laughs> Somebody told him to work hard too. Yeah, I mean, if this is gonna continue this way, it's gonna be really, really rough for Trevor Alden to yeah. to come up with something because he has to find a way not to end up here. He's getting smothered. Yeah, yeah he's the, surviving. The pressure That's by it. Kyle is just tremendous. This is great pressure, especially with an uh, fighter with only one fight. Yeah, but he's got that wrestler mentality though. You know, bull, bull nose right in there. Yep. Yeah, if I was. Trevor's corner, I'd probably tell them to, to not open it up when he's on his back, but to to uh, to hold on and get stood back up and maybe give a, get a shot there. But I, I guess he's looking for something, yeah. Great stand up by uh, referee Jason Fisher. I agree. If Fisher even tell, you know, even says, you know, I won't give you much time. Yeah. You, know, you, you gotta be working or you're going to your feet. It's that takedown again. Again a takedown, yeah. But, but this time, Trevor landed a couple of shots before they went here, so. And I also seen uh, uh, Kyle is breathing fairly heavy. Yeah, his mouthpiece is hanging out his mouth a little bit. Uh, yeah. And the thing is, is, although he's had these impressive takedowns, he's passed a couple of times, he really hasn't showed any ability to threaten with the submission or the ground and pound, yeah. so. Yeah, there's been nowhere. Oh, he's uh, looking for Kimura. There you go. Yeah, that's You can see, even after the fight the way it's been, Trevor's breathing way more comfortably right now than, than uh, Kyle is. Look at Fisher, judging everything. <laughs> Critiquing in his own head. Great coach he is, man, I'm telling you. Yes, he is. Really good fighter. You can see uh, Allen trying to do, use a, like, a little bit of a wrist control to shoot a triangle or an arm bar, yeah. but the angle is just all wrong. Yeah, I think he'd have a better shot at that in the third round because Kyle is looking very tired. Fisher's one of those fighters that you were talking about earlier. You know, he came into the game with no uh, formal training, just kind of yeah. started fresh. I think he's uh, he's pretty, pretty. Is he just a brown belt, or is he? Is he, he just he received his brown belt, if I'm not mistaken, in January yeah. from Shanji. That's cool. That's cool. The question is, what's going to happen when? If and when Kyle can't get the takedown, a knockout's gonna happen. I'm sorry, fellas, I cannot hear you. It is loud in here. Yes, it is. 
I was saying what will happen if and when Kyle can't get the takedowns anymore because as he is getting tired, how many more does he have in him? Yeah, he, he looks very, very tired. Um, Allen looks the fresh of the two. Um, it'll be interesting. I he hasn't really had the opportunity to get his hands off and show what he really can do with his stand-up, but uh, Polarski's tired is going to have to dig deep for this third round. Yeah. You know what's crazy is you, know, you think about three minutes. It doesn't really seem like that long of a time. It's, it's forever when you're in there. But, oh, man, it, it really, and when you get five minutes when you go pro? Oh, that's forever too, man. You know, the, in the longest time of your life is when you hear that click, click, click. Yeah. In a long in a, a war. That's a 10 seconds slide, but it's like one, <laughs> two. <laughs> it's like extreme shit. slow motion. <laughs> Uh-oh, jamming. That's exactly what I was saying. What's going to happen when and if? Nice knee. And this is exhausting for Kyle. Yes. Have a guy's weight leaning on you. You fought too hard. Nice takedown, though. My, my first three fights in Germany were one 10-minute round. And if you didn't finish your opponent, it was a draw. That I like that, sucked. though. I like I, that, though. I, I think we talked about this before, uh, Harley. With the, I used to love the, the first 10-minute round in Pride. I really did. Yeah. Well, it, it definitely takes you. I mean, if, if you can't swim, man, it's a scary place to be, especially after you get a little bit deeper into a fight. You know, you're six, seven minutes yeah. deep, and you're exhausted. That that that's not. I have I, I've been there one time, and it was uh, it was very scary. And and what saved us back then was there was no real mixed martial arts. It was. It was, uh, you know, style fighting. Yeah. So, so, so you you didn't have these super athletes that knew how to do everything. So you could kind of go to your happy place at least. Um, takedown after takedown after takedown. Yeah, this is the problem. If Trevor can't stop the takedowns, he can't win the fight. He to keep scooting. If he did a technical stand up right there, he would have been out. Yeah. I, I, some some basic jujitsu. Um, I said yeah. Detroit jujitsu versus everybody type stuff. <laughs> basic. Um, you can see he's attempting, but like the problem is he needs to get his hips out to the at an angle. He's trying to shoot an armbar square. It's just not going to happen. Doing a good job passing. Just no yeah. no real attempt to finish this fight. He has that near-arm pin, you should wouldn't you wipe her that right leg and uh, look for that crucifix position. You know, if I could, uh, you know, if, if something crazy doesn't happen within the end of this fight, I'm going to say Kyle wins this fight. I can give him one piece of advice. is Work on the hands, 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 because people are going to watch yeah. your fight notice. All you're going to do is shoot with no setups, and you're going to eat something vicious on your way in. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just saying, you know, from a pro to... So that, from my professional opinion, I think you should just start working your boxing. You got great wrestling and great control. Yeah. Start working the boxing and build your game up from there because you're going to have to learn how to start set, setting those takedowns up. Yep. Oh, for sure. In my professional opinion, of course. You know, we, we should remember and remind ourselves uh, that, you know, Kyle is 1-0. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. So, That's why I was just trying to give him a little bit of advice, you know. Oh, absolutely. Something he should, you know, work on, in my opinion.
Appreciate that. A unanimous decision from our judges. A score of 30 27 across the board for your winner.